melanoma sufferers will now have two treatment options after Pharmac today announced it would also fund Keytruda. From today, drug company Merck, Sharp & Dome will provide a bridging program funding Keytruda for the 20 patients who are already on it until September 1st, when it too will become eligible for Pharmac funding. Melanoma patient Lisa Renwick cashed in her retirement savings to privately pay for Keytruda at a cost of $150,000 a year. I spoke to her late this afternoon and asked her how much things had changed since she petitioned Parliament back in February when no immunotherapy drugs were available to patients publicly funded. I know, I know. I, I think that's um, actually the uh, wonderful thing about competition too, isn't it? As soon as there's a couple of drugs on the market and they can negotiate with two different companies, obviously, I mean, and it'll all be sensitive commercial negotiation stuff, but obviously um, they've come to a good deal with both of them. Right. And that's terrific. It's terrific for New Zealanders. It is terrific. And this is precisely what you were after. Yes. Yes, it is. I, I can't believe it, but it's, it's been such a strange year, John. It's been such a strange year. It's been such a strange year because not that long ago, the science around this was being questioned, the value for money around this was being questioned. You were being told not to use emotive arguments to persuade the government and Pharmac to fund this stuff. Now it is being funded very quickly. I never fully understood the emotive thing. I mean, people were dying who could be saved. It was a fact. And, and, and as far as you're concerned, that is a fact. The efficacy is beyond dispute. Look, I mean, I've said this before, this isn't going to work for everybody. I mean, melanoma is a nasty disease and people are still going to die. But now people have a chance. They have a chance to fight. And I think everybody deserves a chance to fight. How's your health? Well, I've got a nasty head cold. But <laughs> other than that... I'm still here, I'm still working, I'm still living my life, and I am so grateful for the second chance. And, and Lisa, I ask you this every time, and, and forgive me, because it's a tough thing to discuss, but when were you diagnosed as terminally ill and given a very small number of weeks to live? It was Mother's Day a year ago, so that was, that was May 10th, and I am still here. And the tumours, what's yeah. happened to them? Uh, they, they disappeared. They disappeared. I mean, I mean, it's not right to say that I'm cured because there is no cure, but it is right to say that I'm living my life and I'm being treated and the treatment is proving effective. It's keeping the cancer gone, which is where I want it to be, gone. And the real icing, the magnificent, big heap of icing on the cake is now this is going to be publicly funded. Yes, and, and other people will have the same chance, and that's the way it should be. Everyone should have their chance. Yeah. Mm. You cashed in your retirement savings to pay for it, didn't you? I did. I did, so I'd better to work really hard because I tend to live for a, and tend to live for a very long time. <laughs> You're a force of nature, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa Renwick, who at the beginning of the year led the campaign for one of the immunotherapy treatments, Obdivo and Keytruda, to be funded, uh, initially to great resistance. Now they both are.